Hello, I'm Daniel, and welcome to the Amuna Project. We here at the Amuna Project are continuing in our series of videos with respect to uh, information, inspiration, guidance, advice, and I want to talk uh, this evening about uh, theft, uh, a particular kind of theft that we're going to get into uh, in a second. Um, the Chofetz Chaim says that there's uh, two kinds of theft. One is an outright open stealing. You're picking somebody's pocket. You're, you're in somebody's house. You're taking things. You break into a car. Robbery, taking something uh, with a violence or threat of violence. That's open thievery. But there's a second kind of thievery. This is where you're defrauding someone. Uh, you're deceiving them. Uh, you're um, conning them. You're fooling them into giving you money under false uh, pretenses. For example, uh, you have a charitable organization that's not really giving the money to charity. You're just, it's a, it's a false front. There's a passage in Isaiah, chapter 61, uh, verse 8, where it says, I am a Shem who despises a stolen sacrifice. Uh, and at first you, you, you're thinking, but I need Isaiah to tell me that, uh, that God uh, doesn't want us to bring sacrifices and offerings if they're stolen. I mean, what kind of person does that? Given this time of year, at the time of this report, recording, we're just after Christmas. It's the day after Christmas. And I don't even want to think of how many poor and desperate people are uh, put into the position of shoplifting and stealing objects because they feel they need to give a gift to a child to steal some uh, some clothing a toy um uh, a woman steals a man's shirt you know they feel so so pressured to give this gift to give this offering this is the kind of thing we're talking about stealing um for the purposes uh, uh of a gift so back to our example the Chofetz Chaim was having dinner with uh, Eliyahu Lopian this would have been about probably the 1920s, uh, early part uh, of the, um, the 20th century. And in the grace after meals, the, the passage which says, you know, we shouldn't be in a, 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 a put in a position of accepting uh, gifts and loans and it ends with being exposed to um, humiliation and embarrassment forever. And during this section, the Chavetz Chaim was reciting it with loudly and with great fervor, with great kavana. And so Rabbi Lopin says, um, I couldn't help but notice what was going on, what's, what's happening. And uh, the Chavetz Chaim uh, groaned. And he said, uh, in the old days, uh, in, at the beginning, uh, when Adam uh, would make an offering, there was no sense of impropriety. Everything belonged to him. Because nowadays, in this bracha, the, uh, the first part, which appears to talk about this world, oil you know, not being put in a position to accept gifts, and the later part being uh, exposed to embarrassment like forever, this, the Chofetz Haim explained that we could be put in a position where the receiving of gifts the first part puts us in the second part of being exposed to humiliation and embarrassment forever. What did he mean? If someone accepts a gift, if someone accepts charity, and they're not as deserving as the donor thinks they are, they're not as, as worthy of the gift as the donor says they are, they're basically stealing an offering. Uh, the example that, that came to my mind, if someone is giving money to a Torah scholar, supporting him while he's learning. And that Torah scholar isn't really learning all that much. He's stealing an offering. And this is what the, the Chavetz Chaim was worried about. And this is what he says, this is what I fear. This is what I fear. And this, the Chavetz Chaim is one of the great righteous people, one of the great tzaddikim and moral uh, figures of the early 20th century. He's a paragon of virtue. If someone like that was worried about, God forbid, taking a, a little bit of money 
and not somehow living up to somebody's expectation of how great he should be, it should inspire us um, to, on our, you know, uh, appropriate to our own level, strive um, to be that ethical. Um, those of us who are in a position of dealing with charitable funds have a, have a, a terrible responsibility because if uh, money is given to a charity and then we misappropriate that money and use it for non-charitable purposes, this is exactly what Isaiah is talking about in uh, chapter 61, verse 8. God despises a stolen offering. People gave money to the charity presuming that it was going to be used for charitable purposes. If you take the money and use it for something not within you know, the ambits of the purposes uh, of the charity, it's a stolen offering, a very big responsibility. Um, let us hold ourselves to a high standard, especially those of us who are in positions of trust. Um, let us try to be in our own level as, as moral and as ethical as the Chofetz Chaim and to fear the possibility maybe of, uh, of impropriety um, because we're so afraid of transgressing uh, the words of, uh, of Isaiah when God says uh, he despises a, a stolen offering. We're going to be doing more videos along these lines. Please come back. Please watch. Please learn. And until next time, on behalf of the Imuna Project, I'm Daniel, and thank you too much.